you know what I'm saying? We're going to be slaying. Okay, so you already know why I'm here. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, you guys? What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, you guys? So, you guys already know I like to do affordable wigs from synthetic to human hair wigs. Doesn't matter as long as it is budget friendly. We're not about to spend all of our coins, okay? Or that income tax money on no hair. Ladies, go ahead and visit AliExpress, okay? So the wig that I'm going to do today is a 3, 6, 18 inches. And it is 150% density. 4 inches of deep parting. It already had bleach knots, but you know, your girl went ahead and bleached them some more. Already had a pre-plucked hairline. So I didn't even do nothing. Like this time, I didn't even do nothing. Just bleach the knots, baby. This is from AliExpress. And I don't really get too many wigs from AliExpress. I think I probably got in a, my lifespan of doing YouTube. I think this is actually my first wig from AliExpress, but I do get bundle hair. It's a really nice wig. It's super affordable because that's why I'm here, baby. AliExpress is going to have their anniversary celebration. So all of the wigs on Ali Bliss wig, which is their official store, will have big product discounts and the price are going to be the lowest of the year. I did put in some elastic. I'm going to show you what it comes with. I didn't use their elastic because I forgot it was in the box, but it has the combs in the front like normal. Then there is the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape area. Let me tell y'all something. The other day I put on a wig and I had the elastic so tight that, oh my God, by the end of the day, I had like the worst headache. Okay. It was so tight and the wig was glued down or hairspray down. I had to lift the back and cut the elastic because I wasn't about to take the wig off. 150% density is 18 inches and it's a curly wig. So let me show you what it comes with. The box comes like this. It's just a black box. Okay. You will get an elastic band. So it also comes with a wig cap, a return policy. This is actually Brazilian Remy human hair. My lace color is medium brown. We're going to get into this. All right, you guys. So let's get into this. I'm going to take my head wrap off. So as you guys know, I just sew the elastic band in it. And I'm just going to put the combs anchored into my cornrows so that way my wig sits tighter. And I'm really impressed with this hairline because I didn't have to pluck it, which was great because I really didn't feel like it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to customize the lace front because as you guys see, it is falling over my ears so i'm just going to take my comb and i'm going to part it right above my ears so that way i'm going to take my scissors and i'm just going to cut that extra piece of lace off so that it can fit properly onto my head um, some lace wigs come perfectly sized others do not you know what I'm saying like you know sometimes you just got to customize them so my favorite part of the wig is always to make me some sideburns and I'm just gonna make like some little bit of wispy hairs you know nothing major you don't have to have a lot this is optional and I'm gonna take my eyebrow trimmer which I like to use this sometimes I use a scissor and I'm just going to cut those wispy hairs just to make them um, a little bit shorter like I said, this is optional. And now I'm going to use my Got To Be Glam for styling gel. You guys, I really do like the styling gel. I'm just going to place a little bit on the top of the cap. And I'm just going to take my edge brush and brush that into my hair. So first of all, let me tell y'all, this gel really does hold. And the hairspray, girl. I don't know where to find this because I got lucky and found all this got to be products at the Dollar Tree. I have yet to find this hairspray. I've looked in Target. I've looked in Walmart. I have not been able to find it. And Amazon has it for $10, which I'm not about to pay. So I'm going to take that styling mousse by got to be and I'm just going to wet the hairs that I want to use as my wispy hairs. I don't want them like stuck to my face or stuck to my cap. I just want to basically brush them into like a style and allow them just to kind of like flow so I'm just gonna take my edge brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of the gel right here and I'm just going to place a little bit of that gel right on the root of the um, 
wispy hairs because like I said I don't want it to be stuck to my head but I do want the root to at least lay flat so see what I'm saying girl it looks really cute so you want to repeat that process on the opposite side as you guys see I went ahead and did that and now it's time to style this baby this hair is so pretty like this is like the right length girl it is so pretty okay i like the hairline like i'm so glad i didn't have to pluck anything plus the bleach did help you know what i'm saying it wasn't too bad but i just really like it to be like perfect so you know i leave the bleach on for like 45 minutes to an hour and then i leave the purple shampoo on the lace for like two to three hours so that way there's no brassy tones but this hair came out so nice i like the density of it i like the texture of this curl it's not too silky it gives like a nice fullness but 150 percent density you can definitely make this a lot more fuller but i like like the volume that it's at right now i like the way it's not all like kind of like one length it kind of like gives like a layered look plus listen i know i said it already but you ain't got to pluck this if you don't want to so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to take this got to be glam force hairspray and i'm going to apply it to the lace portion behind the wispy hairs or baby hairs i'm just going to blow dry in let me tell y'all this hairspray will hold your hair for like three to four days depending on what you're doing I'm so mad that I only have like three cans left. I love it. So now I'm just going to try something different out with the wig because I like a wig that I can just do anything with. And I like to wear a bun or a ponytail in my wigs. But sometimes it can be a little bit challenging depending on the texture of the hair. So I'm going to go ahead and make a ponytail with this curly hair. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just run my fingers through it. It's curly hair so it doesn't have to be slicked down perfect as opposed to like light yakky or silky straight a body wave you know you always want that hair to be like really silky smooth but with a curly unit you really don't have to be too concerned with it being super duper sleek because it's curly hair so you're gonna definitely get like a wave pattern so i just take the water and i run my fingers through it and then i'll take the brush and i'll brush the front and the back like as you see guys right here and i did put the scarf on just to make sure that the wig stays on because i did just apply it and i just take the brush and brush it on the sides now I did take a hair tie and I popped it open and I'm just going to wrap it around until it's nice and tight I'd rather just pop open a nice little headband you know those little skinny headbands they look like um you know elastic bands I just pop those open and I wrap around my hair wrapping it around is a whole lot better and easier than pulling it through this ponytail came out so cute like look at it it's so natural looking I really do like this ponytail like you know I don't really wear too many ponytails with my wigs but this one came out so cute hunties like I'm saying look at it the hair texture is perfect and I actually wore this wig for like a week straight because I really did like it so I did keep it on for a while and you know it's time to put it back on I'll probably wear it to New York but I love the texture of it I love the curl pattern the length is perfect normally I like it longer but for 18 inches this length is perfect you know what I'm saying plus it's so easy to style because it's curly as you guys see right here I'm about to make a bun I just put it in two twists and then I just wrap it around it came out so nice I'm really really impressed for an AliExpress wig you know what I'm saying for the price I'm saying hunties we are definitely going to be slaying and I love the fact that it's very versatile but let me tell y'all real quick okay first of all this wig is dumb easy i think like curly hair is the most easiest hair to actually style and wear especially if you're wearing a wig or a weave you know what i'm saying like it's dumb easy because all you have to do is spray some nice conditioned water a couple products and you go and you don't have to really style it you don't have to do too much when i do ponytails and stray hair or something it's harder because the hair is slippery so it's kind of like moving all over the place plus when you put your hair in a bun or a ponytail with um straight or body wave hair it's a little bit harder too because the hair you know it has to definitely be smooth up here you do want like the perfect smooth ponytail so you have to work a little bit extra hard at you know basically getting the hair fibers to smooth out but with the curly hair you don't have to do any of that because curly hair of course you do want it smooth that's the reason why i sprayed some water on it and just ran my fingers and did a little bit brushing but when it's curly hair period it's a little bit more acceptable for it to be like a little bit of bumps and lumps in this area 
area. Plus, when you do a bun in a freaking lace front that's curly, do you see how quick and easy that bun is? You just could just gather it up with the freaking curly hair. And the bun is there, honey. The bun is not going nowhere. Like, the buns is there. I'm like saying, I really do like this one, for real. Like, I didn't have to do nothing. The only part that I did pre-pluck is the back trimming. Like, right here, it doesn't look that great because I really wasn't planning on doing a bun or ponytail, but I thought I would try it out. So I did tweeze and pre-tweeze like all back here because, you know, that's never pre-tweeze. It's always really, really thick right there. So if I do plan on wearing a wig that I'm going to put in a bun or a ponytail, I will pluck the whole entire edges around it because, you know, I don't really want it that thick right there. They'll be like, why well, she got heady monster in the back? Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, I really just be trying to like really do the right thing. Like, I always be wanting to do the right thing. But Ali Bliss, baby, do you see the hairline? Like, check the hairline out. I mean, I'm saying, I'm just looking at myself. I, mean, I want you guys to see the hairline, like, dumb easy. Like, for real, you be good. Like, seriously, mommy, you be good. Like, I like this. Plus, the texture is so nice. It can get wild. You can make it bigger. You can tame it down. Girl. So, you guys, make sure you check out AliExpress, Ali Bliss. The wigs are super cheap. This is my first AliExpress wig. I cannot believe, because I swear to God, I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. Did I ever get a wig from AliExpress? Anyway, so I feel really cute in this. So, you know, I'm going to go. So, I will see you guys soon. Uh, uh, uh,